Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on my May Beauty Box unboxings. I got all my boxes this month, but I'm like really impatient. I hadn't gotten my glossy box yet, but I had something else that I wanted to unbox. So I figured maybe this time I would switch it up a bit and include a box I have never unboxed before. It's called Face Story. It's a monthly subscription for sheet masks. I love sheet masks. So that's what we're gonna unbox today. But as usual, we're gonna start with Birch box. That was weird. <laughs> so this is what May's birch box looks like. I'm really excited to get into this and see what goodies we have gotten. Inside we have a little postcard, low effort, high impact. Is that the theme? Probably. Okay. Hmm. So first thing in here is a shampoo and a conditioner. This is from the brand Evo. It's the main tamer smoothing conditioner and smoothing shampoo. Hmm. Main tamer, huh? I may need that. It's good for traveling and it's good to get a few uses out of before deciding if you really like it or not and if you want to repurchase it. So shampoo and conditioner, those are pretty useful in life. I do use those to wash my hair, so yeah. Okay. Next up we have this teeny tiny little MAC strobe cream. This is so small and cute. I think I've definitely tried a strobe cream before. So this is like a pearly white one. Let's give it a little... Ooh, that feels really good. That is really smooth. It's a really good glowy base before you put your makeup on and it's very hydrating feeling. I actually really like that a lot. I think I do have a full size version of this, but it's still cute. Next thing in here is by Vita Liberata. It's a luxury tan self tanning gradual lotion with marula oil. I think I've seen this in Sephora, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is a really nice decent sized product. I feel like you'll definitely be able to tan your whole body. It does say it's for body and face, which makes me happy because if I tan my body, I would also like to tan my face, even though I know that's going to fade quicker. I still want like an all over even look. A subtle sun-kissed glow develops over four to eight hours and can be maintained or deepened with a regular usage. And the very last thing in here is by the Beauty Crop. This is so adorable. It's pink with little flamingos on it. What are you? This is the Fabulous Flocking Lashes, nourished with argan oil and jojoba, and it's a waterproof mascara. Mm, I don't really like waterproof mascara. Let me open this up and check out the wand. I just feel like it's so hard to get off. Finally got that open. That was a little bit hard to do, but the packaging on this is so cute. I can't get over it. Let's open up and see what the wand... Oh, so this is the wand. I will definitely do close-ups, but it's very... They're like spread apart bristles. They're not as fluffy as I particularly like, but you're not gonna know until you try it on your lashes, but it doesn't look bad. So that is everything in my May birch box. How do I feel about it? Not too bad to be honest. I mean, you have a full size mascara, a really decent sized tanning lotion, a shampoo conditioner, and this like little teeny tiny max strobe cream. I don't know, I think overall, I feel like it would be over $10 worth. So I think, I think not too bad. I will probably use everything. <laughs> Next up, we have May's Ipsy bag, and who else gets super excited when they see their postman approaching with this foiled pink mailer bag? I get really excited. I'm like, yes, my Ipsy's here. <laughs> Let's open this up and see what we have inside with a little postcard. And wrapped up, wow, my bag's never been wrapped up before. This is what the bag looks like inside. It's clear with some ice cream on it. I think that's freaking adorable. How cute, I love this bag. All right, let's see what we've got in here. First thing is in a bubble wrap and it's from Mana Kadar. I'm kind of like meh about it because I have gotten this so many times. Ugh. It's a bronzer and a highlighter. I literally have probably a hundred of these lying around and I never use them. Uh, so I'm not going to even open them because I could just give it to somebody else because I'm not going to use it. But I literally had this exact product. It's like following me. Are you mocking me? Next thing we have in here is by Benefit. And this is the Gimme Brow Brow Volumizing Fiber Gel, which I love and have. I got a sample of it in my birch box a long time ago, which I ended up loving and actually purchasing the full size of. And this is in my shade, number three. This is exactly what I use. Sometimes you try products like this and you fall in love with them and buy the full size, which I did. All right, next thing we have in here is by Beauty and Pinups Fearless Hair Rescue Mask. So it's a hair mask, clearly. Corrective hair mask that helps rescue hair from thermal, mechanical, and chemical damage. Free of sulfates, parabens, and phthalates. Will I use this product? 
maybe I do need it. I should really try to do hair masks. I love leave-in conditioners and I use that every time I get out of the shower. But hair masks, I need to try hair masks. My ends are badly damaged and I don't want to cut my hair. So maybe this will help revive it. Next thing we have in here is a brush. This is by Royal & Langnickel. It's the Precision Angled Brush. Ooh la la. I do love Royal & Langnickel. It's quite a large brush for your eye. Are you for the eye? Precision Angled. That thing's like the size of... Whoa, that's huge. Maybe to blend out something on your face. I don't know, full size brush, very cool, very soft, I like it a lot. Moving on, the very last thing in here we have is by Caked Makeup and this is the Lip Fondant Liquid Lipstick. I actually have a bunch of these and I really really like them. They're really cute, I don't know what color this is, it doesn't say, so I'm going to open the wrapper. If I have this color, I'm not going to obviously open and use it, maybe I will give it to somebody in my family, but let's check it out. Ooh. So that is what it looks like is this this is a low-key and I think I have this color. It's a really pretty deepened Cool tone red. I want to say It's a really pretty color actually and I do have this so I'm not gonna open it But these are really cool and they do smell good. That was everything in my ipsy kind of like a meh month for me Only because I already have the liquid lipstick, which by the way, it is a full-size product the brush is pretty cool. I already have the full size version of this exact product. This needs to stop following me around. If I see it one more time, I'm gonna like lose my mind completely. And the hair mask, um, if I use it, maybe, who knows. So it was kind of like a whatever bag. I do love the bag though. This is like freaking adorable. I'm excited about this. I love these clear bags. It kind of reminds me of like the 90s, like my childhood. Now we are moving on to May's BoxyCharm. As usual, I do have a link where you can sign up down below. It is an affiliate link, but if you would like to support me and use the link, thank you so much in advance. Ooh, this is a cool little postcard. Makeup is art. Yes, yes it is. <laughs> right off the bat, I see a little brush in here. This is a duo-ended angled brush and spoolie for your eyebrows, and it's from the Brow Gal, which I also see this in here in bubble wrap. This is also from the Brow Gal. It's the convertible brow in the shade number two. So it's a brow palette. I said brow so many times there. Let's open this up. Ooh, I like the packaging. I love glossy black paired with like a matte black. That's really cool to me. Ooh, that's what, ooh, I don't wanna blind you guys. But this is what it looks like inside. Those are some really pretty shades. I'm gonna give it a swatch actually. So I'm gonna take it on my fingers. That is what they look like, really good powders. They're not really warm. I said that's so weird, warm. They're kind of more of a cool tone, taupey brown, which I really like. They're not too warm because warm on my eyebrows personally look really weird. It needs to be kind of like ashy. Cannot wait to use it. It comes with a little brush too. Perfect. Next thing we have in here is another brush. This is one of those, uh, I call them the toothbrush brushes. It has like a little hat for protection. This kind of looks like Darth Vader, the Darth Vader of brushes. This is what it looks like. It's so soft. I particularly like not used to using these and every time I do, I feel like they just move product around. Depends. I've only tried maybe two types of these brushes before. So this is from Crown Brushes and maybe it's going to be completely different and blow my mind. It is very soft and I like that it's kind of domed. It's not completely flat. So we're going to give that a try. I really like this actually. It's very smooth and I'm kind of like obsessed with its like little hat protecting thingy. This is amazing to travel with actually. I feel like more brushes should come with like caps. This is, this is genius. Next thing we have in here is the Temp 2 Times a Boxy Charm Liquid Glow. This looks freaking beautiful. I'm actually so happy about this because I don't know when it was, but hold on one moment. I got the Temp 2 Shimmering Bronzer a while ago and I have used this so much and I love it. So I'm actually really excited about this too. And I have a Temp 2 machine now, which is crazy. I've never used it. I want to make a video like trying it for the first time. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. It's still in its box because I'm like just waiting to use it. I'm going to actually put this on the back of my hand. You do not have to use airbrush makeup with airbrushes. You can use a sponge, a brush, you can dab it with your fingers. I really like that. So this is what it looks like. 
Oh. Okay, I'm excited to use this. I don't use a lot of liquid highlighters or like creams because I feel like it separates over my foundation. Since I have tried that Temp2 bronzer and I really love it because it's such a watery, thin consistency. It doesn't add cake to your face. It doesn't separate your makeup. And I don't know, I feel like I'm really gonna like this. After you do your foundation, before you set, you can take like a beauty sponge and just tap it into your skin. It's gonna look absolutely beautiful. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyped about this. And the very last thing is from IBY Beauty. This is the Highlight and Contour Palette. This looks really fancy and wow. I'm pretty impressed so far with the uh, BoxyCharm. So this is what the palette looks like. Very pretty. And then we open it up. Ooh, they're not creams. I don't know why I thought it was going to be a cream, but this is what it looks like inside. And let me just put the mirror back. There we go. I use powders way more than I do creams. I'm going to give this a little swatch. Oh, what? That is really smooth. These are very, very buttery and pigmented. Hmm. Let's do the darker color and then the peachy shade. So those are all of the... Let me do it on the back of my hand, maybe... I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell, but I really like these colors a lot. The contour colors are not super orangey or like super warm. You have a very cool tone one, which I think I'm going to be obsessed with this shade. And then you have different shades of like brightening. This has a little bit peach into it. I don't know. I really like this palette. That's... This is, this is cool. So this is everything in May's Boxy Charm. And you guys, I'm actually really impressed and happy and excited. This was an amazing box to get. Everything is full size. And I'm going to be using everything. So yeah, this is, this is bomb. This is bomb. And lastly, we have Face Tori. I've had this for a little bit now. And I haven't opened it. And I've been really wanting to. But I knew I wanted to unbox it with you guys. This is what it looks like. Very cute. I'm digging the yellow. I love sheet masks so much. I think they're so easy to use. I think they're like the perfect lazy person mask because you don't have to stand over the sink washing your face and scrubbing the little clay bits and pieces out of like your nose hole and like down here and then the water goes down your sleeves as you're standing over the sink and it's just, it's a mess. But I started using my clay masks before I get into the shower so I just wash it off in the shower and it's a lot easier. So thank God for that. But sheet masks are still my favorite. I think we should just get into the unboxing. So this is what it looks like inside, neatly packaged away. We have some postcards in here. This one is uh, mention us to your subscribers, share the code MessyJessie20 for 20% off their first box. I didn't know about that. Well, okay. So if you use MessyJessie20, you get 20% off of your first box. That is pretty cool. I, I did not know about that. I usually throw away the little postcards. Oh my god, I'm so excited. There's another little postcard inside with all of the masks and what it does, a little bit about it. And I don't want to look at that yet. Oh my god, this is so exciting, you guys. The very first one is by Dooft and Doft. Okay, this is the Pink Milk Mask Tone Up and Radiance Dermatologist Tested. The packaging on these, I think I'm going to love the packaging so much. Apparently the actual sheet mask inside is pink too, and I don't think I've ever tried a pink mask before. Um, so it's supposed to brighten your skin. It's quite possibly the most trending and popular mask in Korea at the moment. It's rose scented and it's the number one mask favorite by the Glow Pick Consumer's Choice. That is really cool. So it's going to help brighten dull skin, things like that. I'm excited. Definitely need that and I cannot wait. I will probably Snapchat myself using this. So if you see a pink mask, you, you know what it is. Only you. <laughs> Next mask we have in here looks like this. This is the Shine K Superfood Berry Honey Mask Pack. This is the best scented mask this month, containing the yummiest raspberry scent that you've ever come across. It's supposed to moisturize dull, dry skin and flaky skin types and is a soft fabric on the mask that helps wrap around the face smoothly for maximum, bleh, maximum absorption and retention. Okay, well, I can't wait to smell that. I feel like it's going to smell really edible and I'm going to want to eat it, but don't eat it. Next mask is from SNP. It's the Jelly Vita Firming Knit Toning Mask. The packaging of these are really exciting and I really wish i could do one right now but i actually have to go out to dinner tonight but this one contains skin nourishing vitamin a and a highly concentrated jelly essence that works to refreshingly penetrate nutrients deep into your skin it has a bergamot extract chamomile flower extract and adenosine ingredients 
I don't know what that means. Uh, <laughs> which work to provide vitality and resilience for tired and exhausted skin. So far, all of these masks seem to have things that I really need and want. Next mask looks so cool. It's like rainbow holographic. Can you, can you guys see that? This is by the Leader Step Solution Shining Effect Aqua Toning Pearl Mask. The first sentence says, anyone else love the holographic packaging on this mask? I just said that. Yes, me. <laughs> Once used, this mask will work to brighten and lighten up your skin as intensely as it pa as its package shines. I'm gonna, am I gonna look like this? Main effect of this sheet mask is to brighten the skin with its pearl powder while also providing deep moisture with its hyaluronic acid. Very exciting. Next up, we have the Art Cell, the Art of Luxury Skincare Aurora Pearl Mask Pack Brightening Effect, Vitalizing, Brightening, and Skin Tone Up. You guys, this is so pretty. I don't know if you guys can tell, but not only is it like rainbow, but it has like little mermaid scales on it. I die. That's amazing. So freaking cute. It has a mermaid on the back. Okay, this is adorable. In the little description on the postcard, there's like a little story and I have to read it to you guys. Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful mermaid in the deep dark ocean. Her skin was as clear as the ocean water and her skin shone like a million suns. Rumor has it, her skin glowed from the aurora pearl in the deep ocean's waters and nutrients. That's just really cute and it made me want to use this even more. Alright, next up we have a mask. This is from Sarah Midden. Sarah Maiden, <laughs> Derma Care Technology, Skin Friendly Nano Skin Sheet Mask, Protects Skin's Natural Moisture Barrier and Provides Moisture. Oh, this is by Dr. Jart. I did not know that. Okay, good to know. Um, this is a ultra moisturizing hypoallergenic sheet mask made of natural fiber and ceramides. Ceramides? Ceramides? <laughs> and the very last mask in here is by Friend Vita, and it's the Perfect Skin Adhesion Aqua Gold Glow Mask. Anti-wrinkle function, 24 karat golded plum Vita E. Octopus sucker black sheet mask. Huh? This just in, we were able to snag the latest release from Friend Vita. This aqua gold mask not only contains real gold flakes sprinkled all throughout the mask, but it also comes in a black sheet that models the adhesion of octopus tentacles. The no air black suction sheet was developed based on the idea of an octopus ability to stick to any surface without allowing any air to penetrate or escape or escape period. <laughs> that is actually really, really cool. I cannot wait to try this out along with a lot of these other masks. There are seven masks and you guys, I'm so, I'm pretty hyped about this. This was really fun. Let me know if any of you guys are subscribed to Face Story and let me know how you guys like it. But that is everything. Those are all the beauty boxes of this month. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As usual, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Jessie. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!